So let's look at some more stoichiometry. The next one we've got here is stoichiometric calculation, where we're starting with moles and we're ending with mass. So we're given moles, we're getting our answer in grams. Um, and again, I use down here what I call the five super simple steps for successful so, uh, stoichiometric solutions in science, which has been abbreviated down here to the five steps of stoichiometry. And I'll take you through those um, using this example right here. So, determine the mass of sodium chloride or table salt produced when 1.25 moles of chlorine gas reacts with sodium. And this is where a lot of people immediately shut down. They see a word equation, they just don't know where to start. And that's why I think if you stick with these steps, you'll be perfectly happy. So let's go to number one. In the question it says, what is the known and what is the unknown? The known is the one thing that's given to us to help us start solving this. And that would be our 1.25 moles of chlorine gas. One thing to remember is chlorine is a diatomic, so it's going to be Cl2. Cl2. Apologize, that is a C. Um, then the second part of that says we need to identify our unknown. Our unknown is what we're trying to solve for the answer. So this says determine the mass of sodium chloride produced. So we need to figure out the mass of sodium chloride produced when we're done with this. And I think we're done with number one. If we go to number two, it says write a balanced chemical equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go back up here and we figure out um, we're obviously producing sodium chloride from chlorine gas and sodium. So we've got chlorine gas plus sodium reacts to form sodium chloride. Now, we need to look up, whenever we run into these, we need to look up um, sodium on the periodic table and find out what's the oxidation state for sodium. And for sodium, it is 1 plus. We look up chlorine, it's 1 minus. So those two even each other out, and um, we've got NaCl. Now we just need to balance this. I use the tree method. I've got chlorine over here and I've got sodium on both sides. This one's pretty simple, but I'm going to write it out anyway. You can fast forward if you need to. So on this side, I've got two chlorines. Sorry, this is sodium, Na. I've got one sodium. On this side, I've got one of each, which means I need to have more chlorine to balance this out. Um, when I do that, it also changes the amount of sodium I have here to two. And now I need to come back over to my sodium on this side so that these will balance out. Now I've got my balanced chemical equation and I can go on to the next one which is converting um, grams into moles. I'm going to move my equation down to the bottom. So I go to number three and I see convert grams of known to moles. Remember I underline my known in green and it's already in moles so I don't need to convert it. That's why I have the little squiggly line next to that one. Sometimes I get to skip that step. In this case I do. So I go to number four, it says calculate the unknown in moles. This is dimensional analysis. To do a dimensional analysis, I just write down what I know. I have to have a starting point. And in this case, there should be uh, uh, 1.25 moles of chlorine gas. Uh, remember, chlorine is a diatomic, so we've got Cl2. And when I get done with this whole thing, I need to have my answer because I'm solving for my unknown in moles. I need to have it in sodium chloride, but remember, I need it in moles. So we're going to take this step by step. I need moles of NaCl, which means I need to get rid of this moles of chlorine gas. To do that, I need a conversion factor. I put moles of chlorine gas on the bottom. And hopefully I can go right into moles of sodium chloride, which I can if I look at this. Go down to my balanced chemical equation down at the bottom, and I can see chlorine gas. I've got one, of, one mole of that. And the sodium chloride right here, I've got two. So I take 1.25 times two divided by one, and I get 2.50 moles of sodium chloride. So I've answered part number four. Now I look at part five. It says convert moles of the unknown into mass.
If you have room, you could just continue on with this, but I'll rewrite it down here. I've got the 2.50 moles of sodium chloride, and I'm trying to turn that into my answer, and over here, my answer should be in grams of sodium chloride. Now, in order to do that, grab a different color. I need some conversion factor that gets rid of moles of NaCl. And I apologize, up here I didn't cross these out to show that we were only left with any moles of NaCl. I'll do it on this one. And I need to end in grams of NaCl. The way I do that is I need to look up the molar masses and I need to figure out what is the overall mass in one mole of NaCl. I look up sodium on the periodic table right here and sodium has a mass of 22.99 so sodium has a mass of 22.99 then I look up chlorine right over here chlorine has a mass of 35.45 35.45 I type those into my calculator and I find out that I so I get 58.44 and this is grams per mole of sodium chloride which is nice because I have it right here I need grams per mole I put my 58.44 here and I looks like everything's gonna cancel out that will cancel that will cancel I'm left in grams of sodium chloride. That's what I want my answer in. So I'm going to take my 2.50, 2.50 times 58.44. That equals 146.1. 146.1 with significant figures. And this, after all that mess, is my final answer. 146 grams of sodium chloride are produced when I start with 1.25 moles of chlorine gas.